Okay, I'm just going to make a quick video. I'm closing out the uh, the series of the uh, uh, KVF uh, 400 Kawasaki Prairie ATV. Uh, this is the point where I had already decided that uh, not going to pursue repair of the ATV, but I wanted to basically close out the video series with a quick video showing why I came to that decision. Basically, we've got uh, several things that are damaged here. Um, this is the uh, cylinder head assembly and the journals here that the camshaft ride in on this head are badly scored. Um, there's actually, I can feel with my fingernail, that's how bad that's uh, scored. Uh, this one's scored too, but this one's really bad. Also, uh, on the cover here, same thing where the journals are, uh, these are just all chewed up from uh, ground up metal getting in there while it was running. So you're looking at replacement of the cover here, even if I find a used cover and replacement of the head assembly, a used cylinder head, talking some uh, big bucks even used, it starts to add up pretty quick. You add to that also the fact that at some point this uh, motor had suffered a uh, four point seizure. Uh, what I mean by four point is if you look at the piston, see how scored that, it, scored that is, uh, and it's the classic one, two, you know, on the four corners there. And then, of course, after it cooled down, it freed up again, and that's why it was able to run when I got it. But at some point, this thing was probably run out of oil, or uh, they revved the, the crap out of it. That might have been even, uh, might have been over-revved, and that might have been what caused the automatic compression release on this camshaft assembly to uh, go ballistic. Basically, it... Uh, broke apart. There's a piece actually completely missing, of, of metal missing off of one of these parts to it. Um, this assembly is available separately, but again, the camshaft is damaged. The journals on the camshaft, they're really, really toast. So you're looking at a camshaft assembly with the uh, decompression release. Um, a piston assembly complete. And probably have to go with an oversized piston because that seizure, you got score marks on the uh, cylinder. So the cylinder would have to be bored. Uh, I doubt those marks could be honed out. So we go on the assumption, pretty safe assumption, that you have to overbore the cylinder, get a new piston assembly, get a... Uh, new or good used cylinder head which isn't the easiest thing to come by and a valve cover so you add all that up and it's just not worth putting that kind of expense into a 1999 uh, Kawasaki 400 Prairie that is only two-wheel drive to boot so uh, if it was four-wheel drive I would probably try and pursue this some um, again, on eBay, saw a guy who had an entire running engine for this quad. Uh, I think he wanted like uh, 600 bucks for it. Tried to cut a deal with him, made him an offer uh, through eBay. He uh, refused the offer. Months later, that motor, as far as I know, is still available. He still hasn't sold it. Part of the problem is the shipping. The cost of the shipping on it is uh, pretty, you know, fairly heavy. So I'm going to end up parting this thing out. I'll take uh, what I can use off of this and scrap the aluminum head and uh, the aluminum cover more than likely I'll just end up scrapping those but I'll take components off of it you know for all that's bad on it the valves look like they're in decent shape so maybe if somebody needs a good straight valve uh, also get the rest of the motor sitting there the secondary clutch assembly uh, it's got some corrosion on it but it was working primary clutch same idea there you know could be reworked but somebody might need that transmission uh, gears and stuff like that I haven't checked them out yet I'll probably end up splitting that case 
pulling some parts out and trying to sell them uh, on eBay. Anyways, that basically finishes the KVF 400 Kawasaki Prairie project.